Several big education headlines tonight, including the Texas Education Agency's investigation into HISD. As we've been reporting, the TEA has levied allegations of wrongdoing against members of the HISD Board of Education. And today, the accusations took center stage at several events here in town. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers is live with that update. Brittany. Yeah, earlier today we saw many district officials celebrating after the announcement that the district HISD received an overall B rating by the TEA. Now, these celebrations, however, come on the heels of some looming allegations. Ten days ago, the TEA Special Investigations Unit released a report alleging board members of multiple violations, including interfering with the duties of school administrators and tampering with contracts. The TEA has threatened to lower the district's accreditation status and appoint a conservator to oversee operations. The agency recommended replacing the entire board of trustees with state-appointed managers. State Senator Paul Bettencourt, who's been critical of the board, says he believes that a takeover is inevitable. The the problem is that it's not the, the teachers, it's not the students, 209,000. That board has serious trouble, and because of that, um, I've been uh, making that prediction for a long time. Because of academics, because of the report that's been released, because of their behavior at board meetings, uh, it's, in my mind, I think virtually certain there's going to be a board of governors. Board members had an emergency meeting this morning, but no action was taken. I'm not doing interviews about that investigation. It's a legal matter. Most of the board members Members didn't respond to Channel 2 for comment, but others weighed in. I can't talk about what happened in closed session, but I can tell you that I didn't request an extension. Um, I think that the evidence is pretty clear about why we're being taken over um, where, as it relates to governance. Interim Superintendent Dr. Granita Latham says the district has a message for critics. Look at our B rating. Look at that 88 percent compare. Uh, if you look at HISD compared to other schools with similar demographics, uh, he will see that HISD is moving in the right de direction. Now, trustee Sue Dimon Diggard posted to Facebook earlier today saying in part the trajectory that HISD board has been on is an egregious one to continue for the sake of the children we serve. Reporting live, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you, Brittany.